My name is Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor with the IRS. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm simple. I'm easy. I'm to the point. I'm going to give you all the information you need so you don't have to fool around contacting a hundred different people and wasting your money and your breath. Um, I've worked about 10,000 of these cases. I've been on all the major news stations. What I like to do is just give you the truth in five minutes. You'll know everything I'm talking about, know what you need to know just by listening to this five minute video. You know, I love YouTubers. Most of you like to do things by yourself. You get very little clients from YouTube, to be honest with you, but people still need to have the information. Now, if you have small cases and simple cases, do them by yourself. If you have a big case and complications, you got to hire a tax professional or, or whoever you need today. So what I want to do is talk to you about IRS tax relief. What is it? And I want to make IRS tax relief simple to you today. Very simple. And it is very simple. First of all, you got to forget all the ads you hear because they're all bullshit. Every one of these ads. Do this. We can do that. We can do that. We can do that. We can do that. The person you're speaking to generally is an advertiser, a marketer, and a salesperson. The reality about IRS true, IRS tax debt relief, is it comes in one of three ways. I want you to think of the system that if people owe IRS tax debt, the Internal Revenue Service, the Department of Treasury, must have a way to deal with the tax debt. That's what I used to do. I used to have an inventory, big cases in Fort Lauderdale, and I looked at my inventory. So what's required? I'm first of all required, got to make sure all your tax returns are filed, you're current for the year we're in. I want to know your problems stop. That's number one. Make sure all your tax returns are filed. And if you have to make estimate payments or you have to make withholdings, make sure they're up to date. IRS is going to go ahead and require that that be done. Okay, number one. Number two, they're going to take a financial statement on you, their form, not your form. 433F is used by the service center. If you got a 1-800 number, if it's uh, by the local office, they're probably going to use a 433, much more detail. They're going to look at that form and make a determination to put your case in one of three categories. Currently non-collectible or hardship, payment agreement, or, or, or offer and compromise. Those are your three general closing methods. So IRS tax debt relief is closing your case by currently non-collectible, hardship, payment agreement, or offer and compromise. Let me explain each one to you. When IRS gets your financial statement, either on the phone, you fax it to them, they want to know what your ability to pay the taxes. So what are they going to look? They're going to look at two things, your asset-based liquidity, and they're going to look at your income and expenses. So the revenue officer is going to look at that, and so is the person in the, in, at the service center. How much? Do you have any liquidity? Do you have any assets? Can you pay the debt? And if you can't, okay, let's see what you can pay on a monthly basis or maybe you're in a hardship. What you need to know about this is that IRS has a formula. It's called the National Standard Formula of what they allow you to live on ex where you live in the state and the county. So, for instance, you get $720 for food and clothing. When you see the form, there's, these are going to be numbers on the form. They're going to want to know and ask you how much you spend for housing and utilities. There's a chart for that. Go to IRS National Standards for Housing and Utilities. Click in the state. Click on the county. You're going to find out what they allow you. Usually it's not what you think. It's really low. Then they're going to say you can only spend so much on car payments and so much on your maintenance. Usually after that, it's a dollar for dollar deduction. Whatever your, your health insurance and meds costs are, or student loans, they will allow that. The whole goal for IRS tax relief, listen to me, is knowing the, start, the, the charts and the standards they are going to judge you by. Do not call IRS. Do not call IRS. Do not call IRS unless you know how IRS is going to view your financial statement with when, you, when they take that. If not, you are going to have a very, very, very bad day. If you're uncollectible and you're in a hardship, don't be afraid to call them. You have nothing to lose because there's nothing to get. However... If you have a decent sized mortgage, you have kind of really excessive bills and you're not living off about $2,200 a month for housing and utilities, you better call someone because you're going to have a bad day. So what is IRS tax debt hard really looking at your case, making sure your tax returns are filed, you're up to date. They're going to take a financial statement, a 433A, 433F. They're going to review it. They're making sure you live in their national standard programs. If you don't, 
you're going to have a large po uh, you're going to have a large payment to IRS. So govern yourself accordingly. You're welcome to call us. Uh, by the way, if you found anything helpful, please give me a subscription. There's a subscription button and a like, and leave me a comment. It really shows me I'm giving you the information you need. I do appreciate your time, and welcome to all comments. Thank you very much. Me and my M&M man gave you a thumbs up.